Hey there, hi there, and welcome to Waking Up Tarot with me, Priscilla B. So, I have your personal unicorn card out here. Stay open to unicorn magic, bathe in pure love. Um, that is for personal readings um, that I'm doing. So, if I haven't done your sign yet, I'm working on it. Um, but um, yeah, that's going to be the theme of the personal reading. Also, moving into December, just a quick sneak peek of what the bird message is and what the overall theme is going to be is Dove. Feel and allow a deeper sense of peace to fill you now. This is a divine quality. All right. Okay. And yes, so waking up, I thought it'd be good to have a little bit of some mantras here, affirmations to say throughout the day. Feeling is a power that helps me heal. So having feelings um, and using them to fuel yourself, to give yourself power and strength and heal yourself from any past wounds, whether they be emotional or physical, um, it's important to feel your feelings. You know, it's important to welcome them and embrace them and power is a feeling um you get when you are probably having like a lot of good things happening and you're feeling safe and secure and feeling safe and secure helps you heal the wounds of not feeling safe and secure <laughs> so um yeah also there's many different feelings, <laughs> for sure. Um, this one is uh, activating the third eye. And this is, I am willing to see beyond my beliefs, ideas, and conclusions. Okay? So you can feel when your third eye is opening, when you're in touch with that part of you. This is polishing my heart. Okay? So you are working on bathing yourself in pure love. You are working on this higher conscience of beliefs and ideas and coming to these conclusions um and you're willing to see beyond just your own beliefs and ideas and conclusions because you have to open yourself up to that and that's what third eye opening is it's opening yourself up to just seeing beyond just your own beliefs and ideas and conclusions but accepting others as well. Um, ones that are bathed in pure love, ones that come from unicorn magic and a place of happiness. Um, you know, the unicorn definitely symbolizes, you know, uniqueness. It's, it celebrates creativity. It celebrates um, beauty and love and happiness. And it represents the possibilities of what could be if you believe and you dream in divine quality and wishes coming true and peace and harmony <laughs> um so yeah so that is a little bit um of what i have for today um for waking up tarot also we're gonna do some everyday witch cards because i just feel like so drawn to my everyday witch cards um when I got them for the first time, like, I was like, like, I, I, I've bought in a lot of tarot cards, but when I got these tarot cards for the first time, I was like, whoa, these tarot cards were like made for someone like me. Like they were made for someone who has witchy vibes and like loves unicorns and magic and fairies. <laughs> so, and mermaids. So, um, yeah, I don't know. These cards are just amazing and they're great, I think, to wake up to, um, and get a good feel and idea of what's going on and like, yeah, how to incorporate, um, all the wonderful things in your life into a beautiful tapestry of amazing love and happiness forever and ever. <laughs> um, also, if you're um, looking for a friend, I am on Facebook, uh, Priscilla Burt. Um, I post my uh, reels on there for my videos of my tarot cards, um, as well as family photos. And um, 
you can go ahead and uh, follow me on there if you want a friend. Um, I always love having friends. Friends very important in life, um, especially when, you know, you need help from somebody or you just need someone to talk to or even just like feel connected to somebody. So let's see what I have to get chocolates. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So five of cups here. This is, um, like something about like, you know, a party, like, um, a birthday party or a celebration of some sort, wine, lobster, fancy, pretty fancy party, um, balloons, um, but like, obviously like you weren't invited. <laughs> I mean, it's clear. Um, you, you even had like your own party, I think too. And like nobody showed up, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is about like how, like the the misconception around like who your friends are who you think your friends are and then realizing like you don't have any friends or yeah <clears throat> that can be awkward right that can bring back some ptsd from childhood when no one came to your birthday <laughs> um but i mean it's like you know with, when you're an adult it's a lot different um, mindset over these types of things because um, you can see here that she's like sitting here in the sand by the water the cups are dumped out the wines pouring out and it's symbolic to just like that feeling of like emptiness and um, trying to do something fun and it not um, turning out fun and here's a perfect example example of this type of situation say you're a teenager in high school and you start an environmental club and you're very passionate about saving the environment and um you want to go to a local park and clean the park up because the park has completely gotten like garbage everywhere and it's just a mess and it's just very upsetting to look at and it's not enjoyable at all because who wants to go to a park with garbage everywhere nobody so you tell everybody in the club to meet you at the park on Saturday and um at like 12 o'clock and everyone is supposed to show up that's in the club and help you clean up the garbage and do something good for the community and the environment. And it also gives you like a sense of, of, of purpose and fulfillment. And you go to the park on Saturday and nobody shows up. You're the only one there. I'm sure that's happened to many people <laughs> in their lifetime. Um, you know, but this is kind of like that situation here. Okay, this is something that happened in the past, by the way. Like, this is not current. Okay, Ten of Wands. Yeah, you you do a lot of work. You, like, really put in every, like, ounce of strength and determination that you have together into a cause or into the work you do. And uh, you do sense, like, the struggle here you can see in his face that he's struggling here and it's like too much like it's a lot it you can obviously see like this is like a recipe for disaster because he's like literally holding all these broomsticks in like this mm, like totally like <laughs> discombobulated fashion that is like not gonna serve his purpose like just going up the mountain with all this heavy load and heavy burden and too much work and too much like stuff to do is just going to cause like a tumbling down and even though he has this familiar here you can see the orange cat there on his back trying to help and the emotional support here it's still the cat is even a little scared too because it's like why are we doing this why are we pushing ourselves this hard we don't need to do that like you don't need to like, just because in the past something didn't happen or work out the way you wanted to, it doesn't mean you need to push yourself harder. It doesn't mean you need to, like, add more and stack on more. If anything, it means you should literally ten of pentacles here. If anything, it means you should sit down and relax. Surround yourself with your loved ones. Surround yourself with uh, 
your husband, your wife, your kids, your pets, your uh, house, your your home, your pentacles, your grapes for making wine. <laughs> like, seriously, like, you don't need to do all this heavy lifting all the time. Like, it's also not healthy. I mean, it's just gonna, these are all just gonna tumble and fall and he's probably gonna like fall and hurt himself. Like, you need to sit back. You need to relax. You need to enjoy life. Um, so let's find out more about like what happened as a result in the past of this not working out. Like why didn't, like what happened now? Like what's happening now? Look, judgment. Okay. You learned from the past that people don't show up sometimes. It was just a life lesson. You know, it's a sad one, you know, when they don't come to your birthday or you don't get invited or, you know, you have a cause that nobody else believes in but you. It's sad and true. <laughs> sad but true. Um, but you're singing a new tune now. You're, like, marching to the beat of your own drum. You're you know, singing your favorite songs, playing your flute and making music here and you're enjoying life and you are not going to pass judgment on others. That's just the universe can do that, you know, and you've already learned that lesson that like people don't always show up. It's just part of life. Like, and if anything, it just pushes you and motivates you even more to move forward and step forward with your own unique purpose and your own unique music and design and song and and all that like you can write your own song you can write your own story and you don't need the support of others you know you don't need to like you know if if there was a reason why like the situation didn't work out then just count it as a blessing honestly because you are doing something else now you are loving yourself and you are having a great time because that's what happens right you learn to like appreciate the time with yourself you learn to enjoy life on your own terms and you measure happiness by the things that you enjoy doing, whether other people are doing them with you or not, is irrelevant. You are doing fun things that you enjoy doing. And let's figure out Ten of Wands. Yeah, see, Queen of Cups. So you went from the Five of Cups to the Queen of Cups. <laughs> so now it's not just, you know, uh, trying to do something that you know, no one else cares about and is like, doesn't see as, as relevant. Now you are literally doing what you think is relevant, what you think is important. Now you are happy and content. You are just doing the things that make you happy, really, you know, um, you're cooking for yourself, you know, maybe in the past you were like cooking for everyone else, but you didn't even cook and stop and cook for yourself. So now you're cooking for yourself. Now all the fishes are like jumping out of the water, right? Um, and that your familiar is like, so like playful and happy now. And, um, you know, you have your own chair to sit in, you know, I feel like sometimes when you go to social events, especially during the holidays, and everyone has to sit at the table and there's no place cards, right? Because that's so formal, <laughs> right? And like so proper. But um, like it's like, where do I sit? Like where do I fit in here? You know, do you ever get that feeling? Let me know in the comments below if you know what I'm talking about. Um, but anyways, um, but now you have like your own chair. You know what I'm saying? Like you have your own table, you have your own chair, you know, uh, you have your own broom. Okay. Um, listen to that song, Savage Daughter. Um, it's so good and it really like speaks volumes to like who you are as a person and how far you've come and like, it's a great song to sing to as well. <laughs> um, and you are just like you know, living life to the fullest and just enjoying life. And you can see the tropical background here with the tree, palm trees and the ocean and everything. It, it's a time of happiness and everything because you are just kind of like creating that like 
paradise, right? It's not just, it might not be an actual paradise. You might not actually live in some tropical paradise beach somewhere. You know, if you're lucky, good for you. That's awesome. But it's also a mindset, you know, it's like creating that paradise, creating that home and hearth for yourself um, and loving yourself no matter what, because you've matured here. You've gone from this like teenager um, who no one came to your birthday party or you didn't get invited anywhere to now being an older, more mature woman that is doing your own thing, you know? Um, yeah, so let's see what else we got here. We have the hermit card. Yeah, so now is the time for just like um, self-reflection, meditation, you know, sitting by your fire, you know, just relaxing, breathing, meditating, you know, you have your spirit guides with you, you have this like wise owl here watching over you, protecting you, you have your familiar here curled up next to you. You have your hat and your broom. So you're all set. You're all ready for what's to come next in the coming months and weeks and days. And you just know how to, you know how to like be alone. Kind of like that song by Miley Cyrus, Flowers by Miley Cyrus. It's such a great song. And it just shows, it just is a song that like basically the message is love yourself. Like treat yourself. Like you don't need a, a boyfriend or girlfriend to do that for you you can do that all on your own and once you know how to love yourself once you know how to buy yourself flowers once you know how to paint your own nails once you know how to spend time with yourself and be alone with yourself and love yourself then you are not going to care if you don't get invited to things or you do get invited to things but you don't know where you're sitting or what's going on or any of it and like and also like it's good for you to know like you have a purpose and you have your own divine quality and your own uniqueness that helps you and really does give you this beautiful wonderful energy here of queen of cups energy okay of being able to be happy right and <clears throat> let's see what's coming um, yeah this is so beautiful and i see also happening here is the sun energy here as well you know now is the time for celebration now is the time for happiness um your soul sisters your soul tribe the other witchy friends just like you you know there's a lot if you even if you just go on instagram and search like witchy vibes like hashtag witchy vibes you're gonna get like hundreds of videos and pictures of like inspiring content that's gonna help you like motivate you there's candle spells there's um just other people out there in the world that like get what you're doing and are doing it too and then you have like a tribe then you have a community and they might not be able to be there like physically and come to your party physically or you know have fun with you and do all these things with you like but you're you can still socialize online especially if you're like in the hermit mode like if you really bond well with that introvertedness when i think of the hermit card i think of like someone who's like introverted i'm very introverted okay i don't like so i don't like going out ever okay um no i'm just kidding i do like going to do certain things like the movies but that's it <laughs> um but yeah like feeling is a power that helps me heal um and also as well uh i am willing to see beyond my beliefs and ideas and conclusions okay so these are all like things that um you can work on and you can uh learn to uh manifest and have fun with all right love and light always thanks for watching please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe and you can find me on facebook priscilla burt and let's be friends bye